Welcome back to the end of your family gamer. So we in here back on Honkai's Tower of Post Pokemon Show. And they want to definitely realize what I mean because wait, why can't wait what? Oh please okay, okay. That's fine. And today we're gonna definitely the monkeys. We need to help all these people, the uh, clown knights. And try not to lose their minds. We were dealing with other criminals or. Right, let's just go talk to the ones we need to talk to. Okay, me personally, I do not trust those bosses while I'm throwing them. Alright, let's see. Talk to you. Oh. Forgive me for being brief. Warfare is a dangerous business. No time for idle chat. We took over this place a few hours ago under the Master Diviner's command. It was only afterwards that we learned our enemies were none other than the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, those who worship the plagues on there. Uh -huh. Everything was going as planned. The sorcerers of the disciples and the fantastic creatures they commanded were no match for us. Okay. And after a while, our comrades suddenly started to slaughter one another. Thanks for your intel. I'll dispatch someone immediately. The greatest fear of the Sienjo people is succumbing to our Mara-struck form around others. To do so means that we have given up on being human. Lost the abomination sleeping in our immortal blood. And violated the Rainbow's admonishments. Wow! What the disciples of Sanctus Medicus did were despicable acts that every Alliance resident detests. I swear to the Arbiter, I will avenge my comrades. Damn! Holy shit! You want to ask questions? Uh, fine. But I must be present the whole way through. <laughs> Finally, someone to talk to. These Cloud Knights are so serious, so boring. You witnessed it too? The Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. <laughs> magnificent. Not magnificent. In the bad. Era, so far in the past that even long life species cannot recall. Sanctus Medicus, the Abundance, gifted the Ambrosial Arbor to the Sienjo Lawful. With that sacred tree, humanity realized many miracles. The fallow earth, the western soap berry, the altered flesh. <laughs> but that devilish archer ruined everything. Oh. They twisted right and wrong and erased Sanctus Medicus's achievements. But soon, that devilish archer. Who the hell is talking about? Return to the glory. <laughs> You've seen. Shut it, rambling rodent. The Cloud Knights will root all of you out soon. What did we do? We cured our kin. <laughs> It must hurt to be trapped in such weak flesh and blood. You scum! If the order allowed, I would cut you down now. Oh, you don't understand. A short life species couldn't understand. Okay. Mara struck? Bah. It's a second life gifted by Sanctus Medicus to eliminate the self, to achieve transcendence. I see a desire. Oh, that's gonna be on my left. Can I kill him? This life is too short for you, isn't it? Don't listen. His words are poison. We're just having fun, sir. <laughs> Without the blessing of the abundance, you short life species would never be able to endure the transformation. That shining seed? <laughs> I've seen it. So beautiful. If you gaze into it, there's a voice inside that speaks to you. No! Remember Kakolia? Yes. Um, the master said we could inject new life into the Ambrosial Arbor with it. <laughs> I didn't believe it at first. We tried many methods, spending multiple lifetimes of short life species. Yet the arbor showed no signs of resurrection. But look upon it now. <laughs> Only the power of an eon can recreate the miracle. Okay. Wow. 
When the Master Diviner gets back, we might be in for tough times. It's making me a little. We'll do what we do best, March. Are you ready? Born ready. Wait, what? Will permanently disappear. Wait, 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 what? Wait, what? I, I can't do this one. Uh. Okay, well, I'm gonna do some side jobs real fast. I don't want anyone to permanently gone. That kind of scares me. It's still early. Where to now? Oh, blah, blah, blah. you can save me a little time, game. Oh, well, I want to that, though. So, I'm gonna do a side mission to get it done, because I don't, I don't like it when it says that, it scares me. I don't believe in Um, 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 Uh, we need to go there. Can I teleport right there? Oh, wait, right there. That was dumb. Alright, let's go see what this is about. Let's well, try to get this job done. It's gonna be too hard. Oh, this guy. I uh, don't care about any of that. Oh, that's right. Yeah, forgive my forgetfulness. Glad you came. It's great to have one of the general's distinguished guests helping us out. My realm keeping commission colleagues failed to provide adequate care for the dragon. I'd like to thank you on behalf of all of them for rescuing her back in Exalting Sanctum Plaza. As I'm sure you're aware, symptoms of Mara have been spreading ever since the Stellaron incident occurred. Thanks to the Ten Lords Commission, being stricken with Mara had long since become a terrifying but avoidable fate for Sienjo natives. The puzzling thing is that despite the Commission's protection, we're now seeing an increase. Really? More and more citizens, in particular those dealing with great risks and stress like the Cloud Knights, are becoming stricken with Mara. Moreover, the Mara Struck have taken on a horrifying appearance. As if they're turning into some sort of monster. This certainly differs from what I thought I knew about the illness. That appears to be the case. No smoke without fire, as they say. Despite being just a servant of the Realm Keeping Commission, spending a considerable amount of time on the front lines has sharpened my senses to potential dangers. You're a capable person, <laughs> and since the General entrusted you with locating the Stellaron, so if you come across any clues, speaking of which, have you made it? Honest with you, I've got no idea how to handle this problem. Yet allow me to introduce Madame Ching Zhu, General Jing Yuan's chief counselor. Okay. I think it'll be easier if she explains the letter to you. Okay. Mm. I read the letter you obtained from the Mara Struck. While the Cloud Knights were searching for the Stellaron's whereabouts, I was carrying out the general's orders, tracking down clues on the Mara Struck. Thanks to your efforts. We now have a lead to an outsider. This letter appears. Okay. Correct. The term merciful medicus is one of respect, one that any law abiding citizen of the Alliance would never dare utter. Okay. It refers to none other than the enemy of the people of the Xianzhou, 
the one we now call the Plague's Author, the Eon of Abundance, Yao Shou. The author of this letter was likely the Marastruck you defeated. My guess is he was led astray and poisoned while under the pretext of being cured. Such actions remind me of an organization that was eradicated from the Sienjo a thousand years ago. They were disciples of the abundance that some it's okay. hard to believe that a group that was with you come across. I was giving a little bit to say about all times. Excellent. I recently received some and he sent an undercover and unfortunately, it seems suspicions were you are a fresh face in the lawful and an outworlder. Okay. Oh, hold on, I gotta talk to you again. Yes. Oh, whoops. Uh, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> that was fat. Here's the situation. Lady Bailu, the Vidyadra Dragon Lady, has escaped from the Alchemy Commission again. Yeah, I say again because the Realm Keeping Commission has seen more than a few of her bad-tempered escapes. Bad temper? used to be the duty of the Realm Keeping Commission to go after her and take her back to the Alchemy Commission. But this time is different. Because of the Stellaron crisis, we're constantly short of manpower. Besides, even if we catch the dragon, we I don't know if you heard, but someone lo now nobody can get in or out. It's completely cut off. Something very fishy is going on. like you to help with two things. First, find the dragon lady and take care of her until the Alchemy Commission delves are real. Don't lose sight of her. Okay. The second thing might be a bit hard to understand. I want you to stop her from treating the Mara struck. Being stricken with Mara isn't like catching a curable disease. All the healer lady can do is slow the process. Take you short life species as an example. Do you consider aging a disease? Aging can be slowed, but it's still unavoidable. Just like being stricken with Mara for the people of the Sienjo. Unfortunately, becoming Mara struck is. Okay. You're the distinguished guest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu Shen. Oh, one more thing. There's a lot of suspicion. Threat. All right, here we go. Cool. Uh, well, let me out. Thank you. Let me out. All right. We gotta do the other job, so we gotta do that one and what's the other one? Oh, fucking shit! Oh, this could be a slight issue. This could be definitely a slight issue. Is it that one? Wait, no. What the? Wait, I'm confused. Yeah, this could be a slight issue that I'm uh, a little scared about. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, join. Excuse me, guest from another world. Please spare me. Um. Excellent. Oh, Xianjo doesn't care of my name. Is green hibiscus. I came to exalting sanctum. What do you say? How about we find a more suitable? Let's make haste. There are too many. Here we are. This is the place. Relax. By the mercy of Sanctus Medicus, I will not harm you. Oh, you try to back your brain. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I was unable to expose my true identity in Exalting Sanctum. But now, I can reveal everything. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is a devout group. Holding firm in their belief that merciful Medicus is the one ultimate faith. 
As followers, we refer to ourselves as disciples, dedicated to our cause. If you wish to gain the means to immortality, then you must become a disciple. Please excuse me. Our expansion has unfortunately attracted the attention of those devilish archer followers. If we are not careful, the consequences could be unthinkable. What you seek, you will surely find. Yeah, not all the dialogue. Yeah, I got beat on my hair. Magnanimous. They do not lightly refuse a prayer. As such, the initiation trials for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus are nothing arduous. All you must do is transcribe this copy of Thousand Handed Merciful Medicus's Salvation 500 times by hand. This scripture uh, is central to the disciples. Of course. Yeah, I'm up now. This is but the first trial. Oh, yeah, Ben. Don't worry. A traditional Sienjo brush and ink stone has been prepared for you. Smooth action and an ergonomic design. I'm not reading all that. Nope. Genuine's honored guest. Bash. Mr. Nitty. Wait, wait a second. You're here undercover, right? So am I. I'm a cloud knight from the exalting sanctum garrison. That green hibiscus has been sneaking around spreading heretical lies for a while now. That's why I'm here. To spy on him. They were suspicious of me as soon as I arrived. It took a lot of effort to make them believe I wanted to become a disciple. <laughs> I have my reasoning. Cults like this want to recruit people with influence in law and order. I wanted them to know I was a cloud knight. Always know your enemy. You really are, didn't you? Shh! Keep your voice down. These disciples don't miss much. If they discover us, we won't make it out of here. <sighs> you can trust me with the transcription. I spent over 150 years pen pushing in the seat of divine foresight before it became a cloud knight. I could do this in my sleep. Listen carefully. I help you copy the text, you cover for me, and I get word out to the seat of divine foresight. Not like one of me. All right. Take your time, still your mind, and transcribe the text. Okay. Uh... You're finished? So soon? Let me see. Uh. Hmm. Calm yourself. The initiation is divided into two steps. You and the Cloud Knight have completed the first. Now, only the second remains. Sure, but can it wait till tomorrow? I'm supposed to be on duty right now. They'll get suspicious if I don't head back soon. No need to worry. The second step is extraordinarily simple. It uh -oh. will be over soon enough. Why am I Babylon? Why do I have Babylon? Disciples' initiation is governed by the following principle. Never accept who you suspect, and never suspect who you accept. So, it's time for you two to battle it out. Whoever survives will officially become a disciple. Transcribing scripture allows us to ascertain your devotion, but determining whether or not you'll be loyal to the organization requires a stronger guarantee. Sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. How about we just snap in half, pal? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're kidding, right? We came here to lengthen our lifespans, not shorten them. You can't just make us fight like this. We aren't forcing you to fight. By all means, refuse if you wish. But we won't possibly be able to let either of you. Yeah, but the Italian means we'll be dead, though, either I, way. Fine. Fine. But at least let me prepare? I've never done anything like this before. Very well. 
But you'll need to ask your opponent, too. Good. Then prepare yourselves. Time. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is a problem. Listen, I have an idea that will let you join the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus and let me get the heck out of here in one piece. You and I fight, and I lose to you. I pretend that you finish me off. Then you pretend to help them remove my body by dragging me out of here. That way, we both accomplish our objectives. Okay. I, um, <clears throat> I've seen your skills. Um, <laughs> please don't mess up and actually kill me. Ah, uh, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Good. I know I could trust you. My life is in your hands. Uh oh. So, have you prepared yourself? And you? Cloud Knight? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm ready. Then, let's begin. Well then, take this! Now the answer is always, always like that. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> I'm scared. To get them. <laughs> you dare attack me? Lands at the ready. <laughs> Oh, I didn't kill him. I don't know how to kill him. What magnificent skill! He was fierce, but no match for you. I'm glad you prevailed. That Cloud Knight waltzed straight up to us in uniform and asked if he could join. Barley, a purple chrysanthemum, blue peach. Find somewhere to dispose of the body. Uh oh, you've dealt with this kind of thing before. Yep. Side hustle? <clears throat> Very well. These are hard times. Let's go. Hmm. This does have its advantages. Our brothers and sisters have been proselytizing and exalting sanctum over the last few days. We may have attracted the attention of the devil. As such, this can be your first mission as a disciple. You take in any case. My well, great peony. Let's depart separately ah! to avoid it. <laughs> I did a good job playing dead, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Those people are out of their minds. Watch your step next time you're around them. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> With your skills, you've got a better chance than most. I should report back to the seat of divine foresight. Stay safe, friends. Dude! Oh wait, I need to go down this way. Alright, now... Is this the end of the quest line? I... Oh, what the heck? What's that? What in the heck are you? You look like a Pokemon! Having some time... Oh, method. Okay. Go all the way over here. Green Hibiscus agreed to meet me here, but there's no sight of him. There's a letter here. What's this on the envelope? Gray peony? Ugh, this must be from Green Hibiscus. Oh my good god, that's all. Yeah, the not really. Samples sure know how to keep a low profile. Looks like I'll need to help them complete this mission. 
If they're looking to intercept mail, I should probably start by searching near Exalting Sanctum Psycrane stands. Uh, the one. Okay, well, that one. That one's pretty close. That's pretty close. Pretty close. Oh, yeah. Come on, weird quest that will like, be gone forever. That's, I've never seen that say anything like that in any game. Well, what's written on this package? Seat of divine foresight, urgent. This is it. The mail the disciples want to intercept. Hmm. Seems like it's encrypted somehow. Makes sense. This is critical intelligence after all. Let's see if I can crack the code. Crack it, crack it, crack it. Oh, oh, this, oh, okay. The disciples are aware of a seat of divine foresight operation to infiltrate their ranks. No wonder Green Hibiscus was so eager to intercept us. I'll use my phone to make a copy, and then hand it over to Green Hibiscus. Oh. Why we copy scripture? I'm going to go in her quest. No, 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 no. I didn't know. You know full well about my situation, Lady Bailu. If there are people from the Ten Lords Commission present in the plaza, then... Uh, who are you? You're not a Ten Lord Spirit Fair. I never said I was. to frighten people. I only escaped... I mean... Escape! <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. More to it, okay? The nurse here can vouch for me. Easy, Lady Bailu. He's clearly not from the Alchemy Commission either. Uh, then don't scare me like that. Huh? Wait a minute. I've seen you before. In the plaza, I was surrounded by all those Marastrak. You rescued me, right? It was you! You All right, came just in time! Bansia, you said you don't know the way from here, right? This guy's no pushover. He'll be able to help. No, Lady Bailin. I don't trust him. Please leave us. Tell the Realm Keeping Commission that Lady Bailu is in the Alchemy Commission's care. And not to meddle in other people's affairs. <gasps> you two, stop arguing! I think there's someone from the Alchemy Commission over there. You help us hide first. We'll talk later. Can I not do this right now? Uh, wait. Where? Am I? Oh, well, no. Okay, right. I can ignore that. I will do that quest. I just need to really speed up what the heck I'm doing. Like, I did not mean to add that quest. Mav Moon, this is the reliable disciple I mentioned to you. Grey Peony. Grey Peony, this is Mav Moon, the head of our operations in Exalting Sanctum. 
It seems you have some impressive skills in your arsenal. Yeah, I mean, look at... No need for modesty. I've studied martial arts for years. I can tell how strong you are with just a glance. You seem like you've got it all figured out. What brings you to the disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Mm. Immortality. Good. Life is a miracle and a blessing. Any futile attempt to forsake it is a disgrace. I am bullshitting him so much, folks. You have been enlightened mm -hmm. to the significance of immortality. You have already surpassed those shameful mortals. Here, take this prescription. Through this medicine, you will become like me. You will be. The disciple responsible for creating medicinal pellets heard of your exploits. They prepared the prescription for you personally. Some of the ingredients can be purchased at an apothecary, but others will require you to come up with your own solution. Given your strength, that shouldn't pose a problem. All right, so we got the pill. Do you have any questions? No. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I once worked alongside those devils. I trained in spear tech, but I was trapped in a weak mortal shell. Fortunately, the draft of Draconic Surge, the prescription you hold in your hand, rescued me. Okay. Once I took that medicine, I became more powerful than any mortal could ever dream of. Now, everything has changed. Jersin and his pitiful spearmanship are no more. All that remains is a loyal. Wait. You recognize me? Where do you know me from? Your face changed when you heard my name. My Moff Moons, sir. We have a problem. I suspect this person may be the agent who's been looking for you. Idiot! What kind of trials are you running? You let an agent infiltrate our ranks? <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't have known, sir. I, I witnessed this person slay a cloud knight before my very eyes. Detestable. The devilish archer author allows these pitiful mortals to face death without fear. Self-sacrifice is their way of fooling us into opening our door. Merciful Medicus has sharpened my senses. Nothing gets past me. A pathetic mortal like you could never understand. In that case, divine foresight devil, it's time for you to meet your demise. Okay. Brave the wind. Oh no, that can be a slight issue. Boom. Oh, I should have done that. I mean, the wind is rising. Bolt from the boat. I'm scared. Stay get there. No, not yet. Ow. Spirit never dies. All right. Uh, do that. No. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. You won't get away. No. I can take it. A miracle. <laughs> okay, yep. Yeah. Get that book. You won't get away. Hey. They don't come any faster. Fiends or devils. I'll crush them all. I have something for you. <laughs> Lands at the ready. Hit. 
Never dies. <laughs> Lands at the ready. Its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Lance a blaze. Lance! Forward! I can take it. Sacred of a safe. Not a scratch. Get there! Immortality! Gotcha, sucker! Dang that, loser! Who was the agent that Team Zoo lost contact with? He joined the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I should go to the seat of divine foresight and tell Ching Zhu. I don't know if this mission was a success or a failure. I'll find out. Would you like me to relay your message? Here we go. Ooh. Talk to you. Uh, I'm glad to see you've returned in one piece. Yeah, almost so one man. What happened? Did everything go as planned? Uh, yeah. Um. Don't worry. Your operation was a success. Although your identity was ultimately exposed, you gained a wealth of invaluable intelligence. On top of that, you managed to get out without a scratch. Ugh. I never imagined that your scene would choose the path of evil. Okay. You did the right thing. I'm afraid this is how the Plague's author operates. You've managed to shine a light on the darkness. And for all your efforts, please, is there oh. anything else you'd like to know about? Nah, I don't need to know anything. I'm just gonna drop right on to it. The prescription you acquired is beyond my knowledge. Really? There are a few reliable alchemists that reside in Exalting Sanctum. Really? I'd like to ask you to consult with them on the particulars of the prescription. 
This will allow the Seed of Divine Foresight to have a clear target for creating an antidote. Given that the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus has become aware of our operation, it's about time the Seed of Divine... If you turn up any details about the... Alright, is that it? Uh, oh no, I can only tell the multi... No. Alright, try that. Oh my lord! I am trying to get these jobs done, but there's so many! It'd be a big easy job. Why, hello there! So, this is official Seat of Divine Foresight business, eh? Then I'll do everything I can to assist you. Hmm. If this request had come from anywhere else, I would have seen. I can't understand that Lady Don Shu is renowned for her. Still, those same prescriptions hold a more amazing given. Okay, Lady whatever. Don I don't care. Okay, thank you. Oh, oh, shit, he gave me the rainbow out the bat. Beautiful. That's even better. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, I can't be over here. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, no. We're good. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Yeah. Everyone does. You're the hero who rescued the Vidyadar, a healer lady in Exalting Sanctum. I heard from other alchemists you have a prescription you wish me to assess. Can you read it to me? Thank you. Hmm. A strange and dangerous prescription, but I believe I understand the pharmacology. It involves drawing upon the specifics, however, will require... I could hardly happen upon Vidyadara Bone Marrow and test the prescription myself. Leave your contact details with me. Okay, that's fine. Done to... Oh, okay. Oh my god. I keep on getting my controls mixed up. Now, did that have to get into the listing? Uh, Miss Um. Yeah, it did. Okay, okay. Good. Now, I'm gonna go back for a second just to see if the job. Oh. Oh, I love that. Awesome. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm an idiot. Alright, uh, let me call myself right here. I'm gonna go watch again and see what it says this time. If it says that job, then I know I'm in trouble. Can I stop doing that for three bloody seconds? Um, right, master divine, are you ready? No, but say you ready. Oh okay, so it's this one. Sinners? Yeah, that movie. Okay. Wait. Alright. I me brain, I me brain, I'm going to die. What, wait. Oh! Ah, I get you're back. I get, I get, I get. From the sound of your stride, I sense you're in good spirits. Mesh. Mesh and you know, right? Many who undertake the far reaching journey to the Xianzhou are weighed down by a heavy heart and exhaustion. But your steps are bold and steady. A stride worthy of a nameless. Let's get down to business. I analyzed the pers the conclusion. Put simply, I don't believe that the draft of Draconic Surge holds the cure to the Mara. Even in the foreseeable future, there will likely not be any such cure. I've compiled the details into a written analysis. Okay. This is a copy of pharmacological studies on the draft of Draconic Surge. Draconic Surge! I want the name. Okay. Okay, 
Hey, I'll go back, Doctor. Hopefully get the job done. I'm trying to make sure I don't mess up. Anything you wanted to share? A lot of stuff here. Wow. Even for those alchemists, that was fast. Don Shu. Wait, why would the Alchemy Commission's chief alchemist be away from her post? Alchemy. I've heard that the chief alchemist is visually impaired. She rarely leaves the Alchemy Commission down. She has a vast knowledge and expertise. No wonder she was able to analyze the pharmacology so quickly. Let me see her report. Yep, there you go. No cure? <sighs> Where did these villains get their hands on such a complex prescription? This is infuriating. Still, this is a clue we can follow. Thank you. Thank Please, you. take them. You've done so... Okay, new message. Okay. Go. Teleportation! I'm gonna do another recording on this just so I get done. Try to. Thank you for coming on such short notice. My stay in Exalting Sanctum was supposed to be focused on treating people and delivering medicine. But the Seed of Divine Foresight tasked me with analyzing the prescription. I've been severely delayed. I've already concocted some of the medicine in question, but there can't be any further delays. Could you assist me in ensuring it arrives on time? No problem. Thank you. The patient in question is a little girl. If she's gotten into any trouble, be sure to let me know when you get back. This is the medicine. Her house is near the Court of Tranquility. It shouldn't be hard to find her. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, where is. Oh, it's over there. Okay, so I need to do this. Is oh. this the one Don Shu sent me to find? Aw, oh, little Miss Lady can't see ahead. Can't see right, can't see left. Heads to the east. Ends up west. <laughs> Stop picking on the kid, you little turd. <laughs> she can't get down. Hey, what you looking at, Outworlder? Mind your own business. Stop it. What's this got to do with you? You were family or something? Because you don't look like it. Hmm. You're just trying to be a hero. Kids, if you're, you're smart. With the law food trio. Yeah, I gotta get a look. Enough of this nonsense, guy here. Who do you think you are? Keep your nose out of this. I beat people up all the time. Yeah? Yeah, get lost. Stop meddling in our business. Ha 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 Let's go! Yeah, kid, you wanna fuck me again? Corpse. That's right. If you hadn't cheated, I would have knocked your lights out. No, no, you want to. About that boss, they didn't even flinch. <laughs> Ugh, shut up. Oh, <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> here. We shouldn't fight anyone that doesn't respect martial arts. Yeah, and how will you stop teasing a little <laughs> girl? This time, next time we fight fair and square. You wouldn't want that. Yeah. You wouldn't want that, kid. Just on it right now. Thank you for helping me, mister. That's right, kiddo. I'm okay. 
once my fault. I shouldn't have wandered off on my own. And then I wouldn't have run into those guys. And they always laugh at me for being blind. And they like to trip me up and steal my things. <laughs> Thank goodness you were here. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me off so easily. Kid, it, let me know if they ever hurt you. I don't have a word with the parents. Oh, Bonshu asked you to come. Things are bad on Olafu recently. Bonshu must be very busy. Thank you, mister. Remember to thank for me. Oh. My father turned out alone. Well, I've delivered the message. Side quest. Side quest. Calling it. That's the side quest we got. Is that that quest here? Maybe we'll have access to it until, um... Um... The thing you remember? Yeah, well, uh, let me tell her. Did you deliver the medicine? I did. I had to deal with the three little dweebs that was picking on her. Didn't let me on them. She reminds me of myself when I was a child. I also had to find my way in the dark. Oh, man. Face obstacles I couldn't predict. As well as deal Damn, with the prejudices people had against me. If I was ever injured by bullies or after a fall, I'd run crying to the healers at the Alchemy Commission and ask them to heal me. I suppose thank you for looking after the child. Could I ask you for another favor, friend? Are you worried about her? Yes. I knew it. <laughs> I worry about her wandering around on her own. And I want to know what's been on her mind lately. Her parents passed away in the denizens of Abundance Wars. The relatives who took her in aren't close to her. And whenever I treat her, she often confides in me. A healer's medicine might remedy one's physical health. So pretty much... Sometimes, her, the, her family died. Her mom and dad died. Oh my god. She told me that whenever she's feeling troubled, she finds a quiet corner in the artisanship commission and just sits there, letting the sounds wash over her. Aww. Her parents used to be artisans in the commission, so I think she has some nostalgic connection to the place. In all likelihood, that's where she'll be. Can I not with my daughter? Please. <sighs> There's danger around every corner these days. Especially for a sightless child. Let's go. Damn right. Waffles, I think I'm going to hear from now. So, Dragonia and the Zindi, they made me so they show up a great time. Why? Because that, folks. Ooh, that made me angry. You don't hurt a child. I'm sorry, but you don't do that. And the kid's blind as even worse for the poor little one. I want to grab that person and smack him. How is everything? My trailblaze power! Oora! I don't like that. So, if you enjoyed here, I'll try to thank y'all for watching. Hope to see you on that one of Hawkeye Tower, which I'll be in a few. So, I'll see you then. Catch the next one. Later!